Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm here with quite an unusual unboxing from Atmex. This isn't gold, this isn't silver, this isn't even copper, or at least primarily it isn't. This is something a little bit different, a little bit interesting. So, as you can see, I've already dealt with the box. Um, still have to absolutely butcher the packaging. It's significantly heavier than uh, my last one, if my shaking doesn't say that enough. It's the same old box as before. Just pull that into centre. Let's get this open. So, um, again, Atmex, this time I ordered from eBay, did a fantastic job of shipping it here this quickly. Only took four days, minus the delay caused by the bank holiday we've just had. So, I have seen quite a few people ordering bags of coins from Atmex. This is definitely a bag, as you can see here. But it's not... Oh, almost lost, almost lost the thing there. That could have been bad. This is not, isn't quite the bag you'd expect it is. So let's take a look at that. There is something quite enthralling about looking at a bag of money like this. So let's try and get this open. I'm actually just going to have to stop the camera here and grab some scissors because I can already see that bit of plastic there is going to be quite difficult to open. So let's do that now. That's the clip off. As you can see here, I've just used this ordinary pair of household scissors to get it off. Out comes the tag. Off comes this clip, which, you know, I'll keep it. It's pretty cool. And then here, if you can hear that noise, this genuinely weighs a ton. I can't believe it weighs this much, to be honest. Let's get this open. Just undo the drawstring right here. And there's another one up here as well. Apologise if my arms are getting in the way. Get that one loose there. First time I've ordered a bag of any real sort of money, so hope this is showing up. Let's check this out. So here is exactly $100 face value in Eisenhower dollars. And immediately, first one I pick up, that is a bicentennial. I have a bit of an interest in these coins. They are quite unusual in the modern American currency. When all of the other coins were changed into base metal, these weren't part of the set initially because no, none of them have been made since the mid-30s. So these were brought in to replace the previous peace dollars. All of them were clad except for S-Mint Mark ones, which were 40% silver. A bit like this Kennedy half dollar I have here from 1960, 1968. So, yeah. That was really it. That's a quick unboxing. Let's just get the whole lot out. Why not? Oh, almost losing a few off my desk there. Let's just unload the whole lot. There we go. Look at that. That's a pile of $100 in coins, which I bought mostly because no one really seems to have reviewed this on YouTube or unboxed it or anything like that. No one really seems to have investigated these coins. These are all in XF, extra fine to almost uncirculated condition. Got them from Atmex for about £140 minus shipping. Again, as I said previously, the delivery was incredibly fast and look at what you get for your money. I obviously had to pay a little bit of a premium. I believe that's about four cents per coin, which makes sense if it costed about £140 each. One with a bit of unusual toning. Let's just get a full view of this mess of coins here. That is genuinely quite impressive. And focus. I'm actually using a full camera setup for this, including a tripod. I need a better tripod, to be honest. This one is Amazon Basics and it just falls apart. You have no idea how many times I tried to get it to stand while taking this video. Let's get a good look in a bit closer, if I can get it to focus. Come on. Zoom out a little bit. So yeah, that's about it really. This has been a very quick review on some Eisenhower clad dollars from Atmex. Once again, thank you to Atmex for getting it here so quickly. And yes, I hope to see you all in the next video where I hopefully collect a bit more silver. Thanks for watching.